this is going to be your TNT lesson for April 1st, um, 2020, um, for Awanas. I just want to tell you guys, first and foremost, I miss you. I miss you so bad. I am, um, you know, I never thought that I would miss the little quirks about my classroom, the little things that, that you guys do that you probably don't even realize you do, but, um, but I'm missing them really bad today. Um, I miss how like uh, Nathaniel and Shelby go back and forth all the time and how they just, you know, feed off each other and I love it. And then I miss JC's giggle um, and I miss Madison rolling her eyes because JC's giggling and I miss Raylan and all the silly things she does. Guys, I miss you. I do. I love you. I, I love getting um, the text messages all the time of what you guys are reading. Um, if you haven't sent me those, maybe steal away somewhere and read and start sending them. Um, I promise you it'll be a help to you, but it'll also be a help to me. And I, I would really appreciate that. So, but I do love you guys. I miss you. I, you know, I've heard it say so many times that you're homesick. You know, I've been at my natural home for a while and I'm starting to go a little stir crazy. Um, we've went out a couple of times, but nothing too crazy. Um, but I'm missing my church. I'm missing my home. I'm missing that safe place to just land and, um, really pour my heart out. Um, and, and I miss hearing the prayers around me. I miss our altar time and I miss all that stuff, but you know, God's kind of forced us to, um, to think out of the box a little bit. So I'm thankful for that too. Um, I know I'm probably a little shaky. Uh, things are a little different. I'm actually in my closet right now. Uh, <laughs> but this is my uh, this is my quiet place um, with my zebra chair over here. This is kind of where I go to to get away from everything else. Um, I designated this spot in my house as my war room after we watched that room and or after we watched that movie. Sorry and just kind of made it my war room, my place to go to really call out to the Lord. Um, when all my family's gone or they're busy doing something, uh, you'll find me in here a lot of times, just kind of thanking God for what he's given us and, and all the many things that he's done for our lives and, and telling him what we want to see for the future. You know, I, um, it's no secret, you know, I have big things that I need the Lord to move in and I, and I know he's going to, and I cannot wait. Um, I'm excited about the day that we see those things come to pass. And I know that, uh, that they're closer today than they were yesterday. And I'm excited for that. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of give you guys, kind of let you see what goes on in here. Um, here's some prayer requests and there's a lot of just names up there. I have all of my um, my kids and my nieces and nephews up there, a few new ones, and I'm excited about that. Um, when I first started this room, I, I told the kids to write down a prayer request or something that they wanted to see happen. And they did that, and I said, you can fold it up or you can leave it open, whatever you want to do. And um, some of them are still folded now. So, and the, who knows what they say, and, you know, it's not for me to, to open that up. So, um, but just like our little orange cards in the classroom, I want you guys to pray for these just like you do those. Um, remember those. We don't have to know what's in, what's on that paper. We just need to know what, to pray for it and to know that it's if it's important to that person, it's, it should be important to us too. So anyway, well, I love you guys and I'm thankful for this opportunity. So I guess I'll kind of get started on the lesson. But the only thought that I really have during this whole thing um was have you shared the good news as much as you've shared the bad news? Um, there's a lot of bad around us, but if we'll look hard enough, there's some good too. You know, I'm so sad that baseball season is not happening and softball season's not happening. Usually at this time, we're getting ready for opening day. Opening day was supposed to be Saturday for baseball, and I was so excited for that. But instead, we're hanging out at home trying to keep everybody well. But how thankful we should be that we have a home to quarantine to. Uh, we have a home to, you know, that that's our safe place that we can, you know, come here and escape everything else 
and feel safe here. There's so many kids, so many adults that don't have that. And we should focus on the good versus the bad. And I have, you know, I've read things on Facebook this week. And I, I know some of you are kind of new to social media. And I'm, you know, excited to see you on there. Um, but just always remember to point out the good in a bad situation. You know, if you eat a, a good piece of candy, um, you're going to tell everybody, yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. You should try it. But if you eat a bad piece of candy, you're going to tell a lot of people, don't touch that. It's gross. Uh, if you're going to go to, if you go to a restaurant and the, and the um, service is good, you're going to say, yeah, it was good. It's good. Everything was good. Yeah, our waitress was great. But if you go to a bad one, you're going to be like, guess what? That waitress did. <laughs> you know, you. it seems like we always spread the bad more than we do the good. So let's focus on the good this week. Um, focus on all the great things. Like I said, I'm terrified to do this and I, you know, I've had to conquer a huge fear this morning to even do this, but I, I'm very thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for the strength that I get, that I get to be a lot to you guys, that I get to be, you know, some kind of little part in your life. I'm thankful for that. And, you know, I thought, well, hey, I'll take the easy way out and we'll do just like a little video chat with just my four or five kids. It'll be great. But God wouldn't let me do that. Uh, so maybe somebody else needed uh, needed to hear what we had to say this morning. So again, I'm thankful for all the many uh, the text messages that I get during the day that said, hey, I read this and this is what it means to me. I'm thankful for those. Uh, please keep those coming. Don't ever stop those. Um, uh, I get, you know, a few of those during the week. And I, it's a really, it's a big light to me. And uh, it shows me where I fall short. But another thing I wanted to kind of share with you guys, I am, um, I know I probably said um a thousand times, and um, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we were, I was looking in here in my war room, and I always keep a picture of, you know, our little families over here, and, um, but I kept this picture of our youth group uh, from a couple of years ago, and uh, it really, the last time I was in here, it really broke my heart because there's 14 out of that group that aren't that aren't with us anymore that have either went to different churches or just grown up or um you know they're somewhere else or maybe they're not in church at all i don't uh, some of them i know and some of them i i don't know where they are uh, but god does so i ask you to pray for those 14 um you know some of them we see every now and then but we don't we don't get to worship with them like we used to and I started focusing on the bad, you know, God, why did you, why did we have to leave or why did we have to lose 14 people? Why? Um, you know, I was really upset because a lot of them were, you know, my kids' friends and they seen them more so outside of church than we even did inside. And I said, Lord, it's going to be hard for me to keep my kids going when so many of their friends have quit. But God showed me real quick <laughs> since that picture I just started kind of writing down all the people that he's added. Yes, he, you know, this, he sees the big picture. We don't. And so, yes, 14 are not there anymore, but he's added 14 or more, uh, if you really think about it. And I, you know, I didn't even have to really start digging like, oh, this, this kid came one time, let me write him down. No, it's, he's given us 14 more. So he'll add and he'll take away. And this time next year, this time in two years from now, things are going to be a little different. Um, but he's going to take care of us in the end. There's 14 that we lost, but there's 14 that need that need the same love that we gave those other 14. So I'm very thankful for the new 14. Uh, thankful for the new. There's more than 14, I know. But, you know, God gives and God takes away and that's okay. It's all in his plan. Uh, but I, again, I want you guys to just focus on the good this week. Share some good news. Find find you a little spot, small as it may be, <laughs> in the corner of your closet, in your kitchen, on your porch, wherever. The days are getting prettier, so maybe you can go outside and just build you an altar there. Do something. Get get you a spot. You know, I told Nathan the other night I was so upset and just so scared because I don't know what's going to happen. And I said, and there's no altar to go to. I said, there's no church that I can go to. And he just looked at me like I was crazy. 
because he knows that I know that God's everywhere. He's everywhere. He, we don't have to be inside the church. The church is not that building anyway. We are the church, and it's time that we start spreading some good news. So, But I do love you guys. I'm going to kind of keep it short and sweet today. Um, we'll add on to it. Um, if you guys want to get into the Awana books, we can. Uh, maybe do that as a video chat since there's so many that don't have uh, that don't have the books. But but anyway, I do love you guys. I thank you. Remember our little um, the orange pieces of paper on our board. Remember those. Remember each other. Remember every night to do your thankful fours and prayer requests. See your family even. Just walk through your house and say, "Hey, Dad." I'm thankful for this, or hey mom, I'm thankful for this, or you know, tell your brother, sister, whatever. Um, just make sure that people know what you're thankful for. Make sure that people know that, you know, that the, that the good is outweighing the bad. I know it's tough right now, and it's tough for me to even see that, but the good always outweighs the bad, and I'm so thankful for that. I'm thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for my church. I love you guys so much. Have a great day.